Ashley with two E's. The best that ever done it. Yeah. On the all new 93.7 The Beat. See y'all new 93.7 The Beat, H-Town's Red Hip Hop and home of The Breakfast Club. My name is Ashley with two E's. And I got a new homie in here. I wrote, I wore this shirt just for y'all. Yeah, I see you matching. <laughs> Marathon. Welcome, Jay Stone. What's up? What's good? What's good? What's going on? I know you, you're you not new to Houston, but. Nah, I've been here a few times. Yeah. Yeah. So what you do when you in the city? Who you hit up? My nigga GP. Okay. Trey the Truth. I know. Trey, you know, Trey is like our mascot, so. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Yeah. He hooked you up with a bump bump box shit? Nah, I'm gonna get one though. I'm gonna get one. <laughs> I'm about to text him right now, like, bro. Yeah, like pull up with it. He'll pull up though if I tell him to. No, he really does. I don't know. It's like a Houston thing. Like when you're in town, if Trey don't pull up on you, like you ain't yeah. you ain't certified. Like yeah. he shows up at every show with For the sure. bump box. For and sure. now his baby girl, yeah. So yeah. we be kicking it. Yeah, we were smooth. we were just talking about in the elevator, um, how Harden and Westbrook are here, so they kinda keep they keep West Coast music alive in Houston because yeah. it's easy to get lost. Yeah. So I think during Harden's weekend he had, like, we played a lot of Nip. Uh, when your album came out, he was bumping that at yeah. his, like, pregame party. Y'all have a relationship? Yeah. They, I mean, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, I met Westbrook. We passed out turkeys at uh, Jesse Owens Park before. Mm-hmm. The Nip, you know what I'm saying? So that's how we met on that. Yeah. Yeah. And then he came to the pop-up shop again and then we started chopping it up again. Y'all got to spend more time out here. Yeah, <laughs> in, I know. I'm already in Houston. Knowing. Yeah, for Y'all got to sure. get a house. But they fuck with our music, though. Like, mm-hmm. Harden and Westbrook, like, they fuck with Nip music heavy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They fuck with everything that Nip doing. Yeah. So, you know, it's automatic to fuck with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? They I already kn- know. I know on your album you had you had a a couple features. You had Currency on there. Yeah, and Currency, he like, that's my guy right there. He claimed Louisiana, but he kind of everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> kind of everybody. Now, Louisiana is his home, though, you feel me? Yeah. But then when you get to traveling and going different places, you know what I'm saying, different places be your second home, too, mm-hmm. though. But, you know, you know where you're from. You can't forget where you come from. Where, ex- where you accepted, where people rock with you. Yeah. Have you tapped in with any uh, Houston artists? Hell yeah. Who? Trey? <laughs> nah, nah, really though. I got, I got, I got a Port Arthur artist though. He heavy though. What? Yeah. What you know about Port Bun B's hometown? Port yeah, Arthur. Man, what y'all know about GP four five? I've heard. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I've heard the name, but I haven't tapped in yet. So I'm somewhat. Yeah, this your time to press play. Okay, for sure. Because he got. I got the cosign. I got the okay. Yeah, for okay. sure. <laughs> now nah, ain't no cosign. It's just I'm just letting you know, like press play. Like yeah, yeah. We know that you released your your album, Definition of Loyalty. What's the status of every, like, All Money In, All Together? Like, the other artists, like... Uh, shit, it's me, Pac-Man, Killer Twan, mm-hmm. Cuzzy. Are, are all of them BH. working on uh, projects, like, releases? Yeah, okay. and we're working on a project together. A whole album. Like, All Money In All Money compilation? In compilation, exactly. Like... The first thing that came to my mind was like the Young Money compilation <laughs> album. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Low key, well, no, nah, not the Young Money, but more like I would say like uh, Hot Boys type shit. You feel me? You took it back, like yeah. <laughs> like, hey, why why Hot Boys over Hot Boys? Uh, shit, No Limit type shit. Like we was just all going off that energy. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like independent. We finna just kill them all, all 2020. Yeah. Me? Do they have individual projects as well that they're dropping? Yeah. Like you did. Pac-Man dropped like every 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you he know got visuals saying? for those? Yeah, he got, yeah. Yeah, he stayed dropping shit. He stayed dropping. We very, we very consistent though with the work. Yeah. So I was just, I, I put, um, like I said, Houston, uh, Harden and Westbrook, they're from out west, so they stay tapped in. But Houston artists, some of them aren't, they don't stay like as up to date on yeah. the west coast. Do you feel like the west is like, being pigeonholed or people are accepting it more? Uh, I mean, we was already accepted. We've been accepted. Mm-hmm. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, our style, it like, then took over, like, a lot of the, mm-hmm. a lot of the, I mean, we just influential yeah, yeah. throughout the whole industry. You feel me? But, uh, I just feel like, shit, we, 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 we here now. You feel me? Like, they, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They back tapping in because we had it at one point. You know what I'm saying? The game, the game always shifts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get their turn. Everybody get their shine. You yeah. Because, you know, you got talent everywhere. So, yeah. I think the light's coming back on us. You know what I'm saying? And, which is cool. You feel me? Mm-hmm. The South had it forever. They still got it. 
So, like, <laughs> you know, now we finna get this shit together. I was going to say, because obviously, congrats to Nip winning the Grammys. Yeah. And I feel like it's unfortunate, but it took his passing to open people's ears more. Yeah. Do you feel that way? Nah. Do you feel like, well, do you feel like I he was feel always... I like they was already, they, they, they been tapped in. They was, they was already tapped in. But do you feel like his appreciation was the same at all levels before he passed and afterwards? Yeah, because, I mean, you just got to look at his work and look at mm-hmm. the people, like, he sold a hundred dollar mixtape. Yeah. In the same night, the same day, as soon as he released it. So if that wasn't love, I don't know what that was. I agree. Jay-Z bought a hundred copies. Yeah, I agree, but I feel like I mean ten thousand or something like that. <laughs> what, what was it? A <laughs> hundred. like. Yeah, he bought a hundred. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, shit. I feel like that, but I feel like because I was a Nip fan. You started seeing all this love afterwards that wasn't there before. And then commercially with people who aren't really like super hip hop fans. And then you're yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, to, yeah, to a certain extent. Yeah. yeah. I seen it too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, it is what it is. We know who the ones like was faking it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we know what's up. We know mm-hmm. we never really fuck with anyway. So listen, when is the next, is there going to be another marathon Puma drop? Anything in the works right now? Yeah, or are we just waiting? Definitely something in the works, but okay. I can't. I can't tell y'all when. I, I ain't asking I for that. I mean, but. I just felt very like I feel very offended because I couldn't get to the the Fear God drive, but that was a long ass line. Yeah. Um, they y'all did a pop up shop in New York, right? Yep. And I was mad as hell because yep. I was like, why is y'all hating on Houston? We coming. We, <laughs> like, look, we coming to a city near you. Trust me. We we finna do this shit all over. We just, you know, that shit take time. Yeah. You know? I just, you know, I okay, waited like mapping out, you feel me? But where to go? You know who to tap into if you need that. So I know we got we gotta connect now. Yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna send y'all somewhere good to eat afterwards. Yeah. Are you vegan? Uh or no. Nah. Okay. Thank you. Because nah. you can't be vegan in Texas, that's illegal. I just don't fuck with that swine. Okay, we can work around that. All but right, like cool. barbecue, chicken or something. You can fuck with. I got you. Chicken, we definitely can fuck with. Chicken, we can fuck with. So tell me, sure. what is your, I think mine, what is your, obviously the Nip song, but what is your most introspective song on definition of loyalty? Um, when Thugs Cry. Okay. You what is, what I'm what's I the just, song you had that was like kind of a female song? It's like for the females, like. On that project? Yeah. Oh, Bill with you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was for the ladies. I had to do something for the ladies, you feel me? I didn't want to give them just all just like, straight hard music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In my life, like I felt like I don't know, that shit come with growth too though. Like I just felt like I'm at a time in my life I'm ready to build with a female instead of just like you know. Aww. Thank you for not being super But then hard. I, I I I could I could also break your heart too though. So, you know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we did all that to bring it back. <laughs> so at the Grammys, I've always wondered wondered this. <clears throat> Why is it? And I think I'm pretty sure you posted a screenshot of a tweet that was like when people do tributes for Nip, it's kind of like his people aren't involved, like the real people. So like I think you posted that. Am I right? Yeah, correct. I just, yeah, I just I just posted it. Yeah, I posted it with the fans. Yeah, was talking about. I let them say with how they felt. But how do you feel about that? Are you like, because I think a BET, that kind of had y'all up there. Yeah, but I was in jail for that, though. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> That's why y'all didn't yeah. see me up there. I know y'all like, damn, where this nigga just yeah. on that? Yeah. Well, one of, I always assume because I know the business side of it, the commercial side, is yeah. they have the commercial people. Like they have the Khaled and YG, whatever. There's no hate to them. But, like, people who are real Nip fans are like, why isn't his real people up there? Like, all money in. You, obviously. Do you never felt some type of way? Or you just like, it is what it is? I mean, it is what it is. You feel yeah. me? You I mean, know, you already know how they get down. The yeah. Grammys get down, you feel me? But, I mean, you know, they're going to get that shit right. But they, this, year, th- this year, this year, definitely, we're going to be up there. Yeah. Everybody show love, though? They show sure. respect? Okay. For sure. Part of, you know, you releasing music. And just kind of carrying the name of All Money In. Like, what is, like, the 
future plan, not just music, but like business wise? Like, what are you working on right now? Oh, um, you just obviously dropped your album, but what? Yeah, what else? I'm about to drop another album. <laughs> um, I'm working on some shit with Forgiato right now. Too. Okay. You feel me? We just launched a little Puma thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I'm just working. I don't even know what's going to happen. I can't tell you. Yeah. Shit just be happening. You know what I'm saying? You just kind of taking it, like, as it comes, like, just dealing with it. Like, it's God engineering, you feel me? Yeah. He leading the way. Do I'm you... signing him now, you feel me? <laughs> That's a dope line. No, for real. <laughs> Do you kind of, like, you don't plan, structure things out? Or you just kind of... Um, yeah, I mean, definitely, like, my shit is mapped out, though, like, mm-hmm. cause that's just how my brain works. Like, I'm always thinking about some shit. Like, I get up in the morning, and I just think about, like, what's the next move? Like, yeah. I don't ever think about, like, what I did. I did that already. What's yeah. Next? What can I do? Keep yeah. keep moving forward. Yeah, so that's how I keep going. I saw this. You got the single, the song with Mozzie, the yeah. single. Mm-hmm. What are we moving on after that? Did you, you got, you didn't make any, um... It's no like, because we're in the South. It's no like twerk club records. I had to give them me. I didn't want to, yeah. I didn't want to, I didn't want to like. Water it down? Yeah, because mm-hmm. that ain't, that ain't what I'm doing. Like, I ain't really like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is that any, do you like want to work on that or no? If it comes? I don't know. You like, just ain't going to force it. Maybe, I don't know. I got to be in a club. I got to be. Turned up, I gotta be feeling that, you feel me? Or I yeah. might gotta go to the strip club and just go, you know what I'm saying? Vibe out in the strip club, see what music is popping. You in the perfect city for that. Yeah, I know. Because we known for our strip clubs. No, but I just be locked in where I'm at yeah. and I just create off how I create. But they they all shut down anyway, but Yeah. If it yeah I rather I rather I rather speak some real shit than talk about a female twerking. Mm. That shit cool. Like that's all you do is twerk. Have you said that Fuck to a girl that. before? That's all you do? Yeah. Is twerk? Fuck that. <laughs> That's yeah. why we rock with you. Yeah, I ain't Listen. gonna waste my time rapping about that shit. I just gotta I gotta ask for the hood rats, cause you know, they wanna know. Yeah. I mean I could have got <laughs> I could have got out and did like like the YG wave, the ratchet music, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? All that shit, you know what I'm saying, they was doing, but I don't know. That was that was them. It worked for them. It probably wouldn't have worked for me. Cause that ain't who I am. Father came out there just talking about Ratchet music and I'm in the club all day and all that like that ain't that's not me like mm, me. like forcing it yeah I mean on my end you feel me but like that could have been they life that could whoever making that music that's they life just like the jerking shit and the <gasps> crump music and all that like that's you brought back what, jerking that's what motherfuckers <laughs> was really doing though like at yeah. that time you feel me so I think I said that it's because <clears throat> that's what radio latches on to yeah. but then also i'm in the south so like that's all that's all they want to hear yeah is that repetitive shit but yeah it is what it is but i can't believe you brought up jerking oh my god you remember them were days. you jerking back in the day hell no <laughs> i was tiny little boogie and like our shit was called the tiny little boogie they went and took it and made it the jerk like on some real shit so then, who added pin dropping? That was them. That was I don't y'all. Oh yeah. Then once was... they once they switched it to jerking, we let them have it. Like y'all can go. <laughs> y'all y'all can go do, do the, whatever y'all want to do with. Do that. Yeah. I would say it's an honor that you came up here and that we're cool now. Yeah. I got to connect. For sure. One of my favorite songs ever. It's on my playlist. Is "Stay Loyal" with yeah. you and Nip. Yeah. So classic. Favorite. Classic. I'm so right. excited you came up here. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm excited for coming, though. Like, for real. I couldn't wait to get up here. I'm, a, I'm surprised. You got pulled over on the way up here and all that shit. Like, Why? Who? Who's driving? You? Yeah, yeah my boy <laughs> GP. This is the one I was telling you about from Port Arthur. Like, he going to be a problem. You're from Port Arthur? Yeah. Were you in the, was he in the room when we were talking about him? Nope, he wasn't even in here. I was at the door, but I couldn't What I the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Bro. I wanted to. Oh my gosh! Why? Why'd you get pulled over? What'd you do? Uh, <laughs> oh okay. Oh, you from here? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, okay, gotcha. Got you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Port Arthur's different. Bumby done told me many, many times. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't the same. Yeah, you it's can't Houston. sleep on the PA though. How did y'all meet though? Like for on you being from here. Tour. Okay. Prince Charles tour. You were out here. Hell yeah, 2014, I think. Hell yeah. Yeah. 
Today, matter of fact, she just what she said to me today, though. Today, though, huh? What? Six years ago, on this day. Look at God. Wait, come up here. Come here. He called me. I'm like, damn. Or share. Or share. No, you can, if you can fit over there. Yeah, come over here. Over here man. <laughs> you gotta have some legendary shit happen. You ain't even in the room. Yeah, <laughs> Hold on. Uh, say, say your name real quick. The mic right there. In the mic. <laughs> slide, slide, slide it over here. On, on you got it? Yeah. yeah. No, you can slide it over. Yeah. Barely. <laughs> Barely. All right, what's your name? GP. Okay. GP so, I wanna hear this story now. Six years ago, you're on the Crenshaw tour. Yeah. You came to the venue. How'd y'all yep. meet up? Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, no. See, we basically, uh, yeah, I was at the, uh, they, they had the Crenshaw tour out here. I was out there. Um, uh, I had a mutual friend that knew somebody, you know, that knew Nip. Okay. Um, ain't no name drop or whatever. <laughs> but um, anyway, I had uh, ended up meeting Nip before the show backstage. And then me and Jay Stone ended up meeting after the show. Um, like on a tour bus or whatever, and we just like we just connected. I oh, I didn't know, I wasn't familiar. Like, yeah, I didn't, know, I, I, didn't, I didn't even know that. I'm like shit. This nigga on the tour bus. I'm looking. I'm like, there must be a reason why this nigga on the bus. But I'm like, it just for some reason we connected. We was chopping it up for like an hour or two mm -hmm. or some shit like that. Like, I, some real that shit. all get right was my favorite song on the tape. Yeah, and you know I didn't know who Jay Stone was. You know what I'm saying? Like I had never seen his face on the video or nothing like that. So then when I found him, like, damn, bro, that's you. I'm like, damn, oh, that's, God. you know what I'm saying? That, 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 that whole tape just, you know what I'm saying, changed my life. So when I got to meet Jay Stone and shit, we just chopping it up, hit it off, you know what I'm saying, real smooth. And we just been bros ever since. I done been, made several trips to Cali, treat me like a, a little bro, you know what I'm saying? When he come out here, I treat him like a brother. And we just, you know, got a, a real connection. And, you know, it's a blessing. I feel the same way that you feel about him. So, mm -hmm. so that type. Hell yeah. This whole time, yeah. he didn't even say nothing while you was downstairs. Yeah. I was like, I was like, you got, I was like, you, you got the, I was like, you got the parking ticket. Like, that's why motherfuckers don't know. It's always something behind something. You know what I'm saying? So you, just... but you live here, or you still live in Port Arthur? Are you live in Houston? Okay, and then it's just working on music here and back and forth. Okay. Yeah, he'll be headlining. I'll be coming out right before him. So we got the show together, and like you say, we just. You know what I'm saying? Doing it, doing it the right way, you know. Yep. We got our movement, but, you know, we yep. we inspired by what they did also, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. By what they doing, you know. You said on six, so on this day six years ago yep. is when y'all met. Exactly. Well, yeah, <laughs> for sh it, it's either like the 7 or like 12 p, 12 p, like, you know, 12 p.m. Yeah, yeah, after yeah. the show. One of them, 7th or 8th, but for sure the 7th, you know what I'm saying, is when the actual marathon, I mean, the Crenshaw tour was, like, out here, the February 7th, like, the day. <sighs> Sure. I'm so enlightened right now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate y'all. We this took a, a longer turn because I didn't know yeah, <laughs> that yeah, this yeah. was gonna no, happen. It's all good. It's yeah. All good. yeah, but I appreciate y'all. But while you got a show tomorrow, then you're gonna continue. You got to go back to LA Sunday. Yeah. And then just you gonna hang out while you in Houston, right? Period. Period. <laughs> gonna go out to eat. I'm, I'm gonna pull back up here. Matter of fact, I gotta go knock this other radio station out. Come kick it with us. We'll yeah, go take come, you to eat. Yeah, I come pull it back up here. I ain't doing nothing. The show ain't till tomorrow night. So Hey, I got y'all. <laughs> but until it, until next time, Definition of Loyalty is out. It is Jay Stone on the all-new 93.7 The Beat. Yeah.